Tony, it's the second day of the draft combine yeah. for this year. Uh, what, what, are you, what are we looking for? Oh, we're looking to look at those things that we've seen across the year with the players' skills and their athletic ability and all that sort of stuff. I think, I think we've seen them play often enough, but you're trying to validate in your own mind what you're seeing out there on the field athletically to see whether it marries up with, with what you think. So there's a 114 uh, prospects here. How closely do you look at each one? Oh, I think I look at everyone. Um, you've got in your own mind what you think is the draft pool of maybe 60 or 70 odd players and you hone in on those players that you've really liked watching their football. But every now and then a surprise is throwing up in terms of athleticism. Um, and you've maybe got to revisit a few players and think, OK, let's have a look, go back through their tapes and have a look at their football again and uh, um, see whether it's a little bit better than what you thought originally. So today we've got uh, handballing and, and goal kicking. What other agility tests um, have we got this week? Yeah, well, so far we've had the vertical jump. Uh, that was the start with and, and they've had the speed test, the repeat speed um, and the agility test as you say and then there's a shuttle on today and then there's a beep uh, which is the beep test and then there'll be a three k -er. so there's still plenty to go and uh, amongst all that we've also interviewed you know that sort of pool that we're looking at and that's been interesting as well so we've been in most of these people's homes now it's good to, uh, to go over a few of those finer points to uh, um, to understand their character and I th we think that's just as important. So the footy we've seen, test athletically, find out a bit more about their character and, and hopefully we can come up with some, uh, um, some solutions and some decisions. So the free agency period began this week and, and then we've got the trade period and then uh, seven weeks the draft. Uh, what are we uh, as a Saints specifically looking for? I know Scott's mentioned uh, defenders and, and Ruck, well, what are we looking for? Well, there's, yeah, obviously as, as a club we need to uh, investigate those areas thoroughly and see what the best op options are. Um, that's important for, for the now, but over and above that we're looking for you know the, the best, best talent available and then we'll try and uh, mix that up on the day in terms of how the rest of the draft looks. You, you will have a view of how far and how deep you want to go into the draft with what's best and then you try and marry that up with, OK, what we've got on our list and what are the needs are and then at some point within the draft you, you start to, to um, balance what you've already picked, what's left over, to, max, uh, to, to match with what you've picked but also what our really needs are for the club. But there are other mechanisms to it all, you've got the rookie draft after that um, and then obviously as you say we've got trading, there's the free agency, so there's four or five parts to the whole jigsaw puzzle. And without the, um, the picks being finalised, is it difficult to sort of analyse what, what you need and where? Yeah, it is a little bit difficult at the minute, but that'll unfold. I think it's our job to, to get to know the players as best as we possibly can um, and, 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 and rank the players in some sort of order based on the criteria of what you look at within a footballer. And then we'll wait and see how it lands over the next two or three weeks and hopefully we'll be in a position to make some decisions and uh, go into the draft. But then, you know, you're into the unknown a little bit because uh, probably a lot of the players that you like, the rest of the world loves too. So, Was Scott here this week? Yeah, Scott's been in, in uh, this week and it's been good because he's been part of the interview process and that's good for, for Scott to, to meet the players first hand. That's also interesting to see how the players respond in front of the coach and uh, there have been some good interviews. Uh, other than that, we've had um, uh, John Beveridge, who's been recruiting for a long, long time for the Saints, who won a Lifetime Achievement Award recently from the Coaches Association, Paul Collins and Chris Libertore, and Greg Hutchison, our football manager. So we've had a good team of people here, and they've been able to cast their eye over them in their performance, but also in the interview room. Great, thank you very much.